Hello everybody, Aka, and this one is solely on my pewter casting and moulding, etc. Mostly on this particular item, which I copied. So, copied with air dried clay. This is just one of the moulds. Um, the, some of the ones I've been using are starting to deteriorate as you can tell by the cracking right around here near my thumb um, it's quite easy to do um, this is the product I use just in the kids section at Bunnings 13 bucks get half a kilo of white clay throw all this crap out utilize that whilst you're mucking around paintbrushes and stuff that's not so bad um, I also have recently trying some other stuff that I've seen on uh, YouTube from people who have been doing this stuff about five, six years ago. And uh, they use a two-part silicon stuff and everything like that. So I had a look around, but then I thought, hey, why not use high-temperature RTV silicon? So I've got a few items already buried in this stuff and we'll see what happens, all right? Um, worked with it before on car engines. Sticks like shit when it's wet and that. And then when it dries, it can be removed. So, and for this, and uh, I used this as a release agent on one on that Jack Daniels little buckle thing that I used to put up all the time so I coated the Jack Daniels thing in this put it on wax paper buried it in this put some wax paper on top flatten it out and we'll see how it goes um, this that West Australian coin that I was trying to copy ah, come on focus 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 there we go mate this looks like it's something that washed up on the beach eh? and the weirdest thing is starting to get the near tin sound not so much pewter um yeah had trouble trying to get those maybe because it's just i don't know maybe i need to put it in when it's cooler the pewter um don't know it's it's hit and miss so this one come up good but she ended up being like some old stamp roman coin um so yeah they look a bit nasty so i've got this particular coin that i used west australian uh souvenir coin uh, i've got that buried in that red rtv silicon we'll see what happens with that so uh yesterday was oh sorry and the other medium i'm gonna try is this stuff and use this to um make say something like that all right so i'm trying different things and seeing what i can come up with so yesterday i was sitting in my room here and i'm going oh what can i do and then i looked up and i had this on the wall and um i saved it from the scrap and i thought oh, jesus i'm gonna copy your face and I had a go at it, and I guess what? I didn't ask permission, I don't think. Something happened. I think I might have heated this up too much. And the tin has stuck to his face here. So because this is all like that, I thought, what a perfect mould. So I had a couple of guys. I was spewing them. I poured it in. It all worked out great, and I think I just heated it too much trying to work it to come down for his hair and because I heated it too much that forced the tin and the tin stuck to the copper because this copper got too hot uh, I noticed just from now on I just quickly hit it with the heat and then pour it on and when I do that on an item like that look how beautiful that sits look absolutely beautiful and guess what? Look what I got. I got the most beautiful looking sacred heart pour. Look at that. 
a little bit chunky here because that's where it's dropped over on the this cloak so to pop it around on its other side that's what we got that was the last one I did and I was just going the first one I did was that so once again it does sit there but see how it, see how I started overheating it and it gets that that's the tin and I'm thinking this is why I'm having trouble and this shit happened here and I got really upset and tried to explain I was sorry and everything that I was only trying to do it for good I said I'd never sell them I'd, I'd give them away I'd never sell them never ask for money when it's the image of the Lord I should be given them free and I did a before I did the Sacred Heart at the same time I did this one I just tipped what was left in the crucible into the palm the hand like this to see just to see what was going on why it wasn't because I didn't heat this up at all didn't clean it nothing and boom came out lovely so from now on as we're not um, preheating copper items like this items like this I'll find in secondhand shops by the dozen and look at that instant molds you know you get palm trees etc etc actually doing the Lord's hand like that would be cool what do you think you know considering that one come out like that I was very impressed I was happy with that so thank you Jesus and uh, sorry about ruining this side I will have a go at just pouring some pewter in there and see what happens all right but Noel is not lost because on this side here I can use the air dry clay and just go smash all right and I'll make an imprint I'll leave the air dry clay on there as it dries I'll have a reverse image in the clay in this stuff so all is not lost but for the time being, I want to try and punch out a few more of these. This hand would be cool. I did a girl, but I did the girl. And uh, what I did is I sprayed this all with silicon spray. And as you can see, she started to, I heated it too much. That's what I think I'm doing wrong. And it's, the tin is sticking to the copper, starting to bond. Anyway, I'll have to keep an eye out for some more of those. Uh, as with the Reaper, this is what I copied. And uh, I, I can smash these out now. I've got so many of them, guys. I don't know what the fuck to do with them. Honestly, I've been giving them away to guys at work. So glue that to your skateboard, mate. Put that on the fucking wheels. You know, it's like I got so many of them, and some look cool. So what I started doing is I've been trying my model making skills, and just trying to put in some sort of colour and taking. The green's always good because the green looks that mouldy, oldy colour. I flicked one up this one here with greys and that too. Um, what happens is I did another one. Which one? This was the first one. The one that I just did with the uh, satin black. Uh, and then just get a rag and rub, 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 rub. That's all you do. It's piss easy. Same with these. This one here was different paint. So I just got a bit of grease and wax remover on a rag and just went around, rubbed it. Rubbed it in there to highlight his teeth. So it gives it a different contrast rather than it being black and doom and gloomy. Like this one. This one is done in the colour Tundra. And this was the colour of my uh, VT Commodore. So once again, you just 
rub with a cloth, you rub in there, you just get in there. I wouldn't do it with a uh, earbud or anything like that because you'll probably take out too much. Because don't forget the person whoever's using this, they'll be rubbing it, they'll be in their pocket and that will add to the... And then the paint will just be left in all the cracks and it'll look cool, it'll give it profile. You know, the eyes will be darkened. So, let me know what you think, guys. And what should I do with all this stuff? I've got so many of them. Should I keep painting them? Let me know. I won't paint the gold ones. I've worked out this is a certain amount of heat um, I'm putting back into it. So... They're the gold ones. Um, I'm currently doing a box for the Crazy Aztec, so I'll be sending. If you're watching, mate, let me know which one and what you want me to do. Do you want me to paint one up for you? Do you want to, do you want a thin, shiny one like this? You know, people, let me know in the comments because if I get the chance, I'll just write it down, and when I get around to it, I'll post them out to you. You know, but you know. 20 bucks or something to post five cents worth of pewter out to you guys but you know i don't know what to do with them all some are really cool people got different tastes some people think that this is pretty cool because you got the see-through part so you can have any sort of background behind it i think that's a good idea um i've got to try and work on more of these left facing ones uh, what else is there that's about it mate guys I've got heaps and all these cherubs oh, I'll probably I don't know just put them aside not to mention that I've got all these ones these skulls and cherubs and everything still in this other pewter I've also got this is the one that was coming along more on tin. You get a different sound. I've also got all of these ones. <laughs> these are all the skulls. And when I was trying to put loops in them, um, there's a copy of the dolphin. <sighs> Mate, I just, yeah, yeah, there's more. And there's this lot. Uh, uh, there's 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 some more and there's even the fucking ones I did in lead now I've got a bit of silicon spray on my fingers and I can't fucking yeah, look at this shit would ya there we go no, the lead that's why I got PB lead yeah, so I don't know if anybody likes the lead one. You, know, you can always whack this on the end of your fishing line as your sinker. Fucking scared the fish away. Oh, here's a good sinker. Look at that one. Dunk. Hey. So, that's about it for the pewtering. <laughs> it is, um, like I said, it's just like I've got so much of it, mate. And I've still got ingots over there. It's like, honestly, the other day, I think I was uh, email chatting to STG. And once I finished chatting with him, I went out there and did 15 of them in a row. Well, not 15. I think it was probably 12. And it took me not even 15 minutes. Just smashing them out, one after the other. They got to a point now that if I can get lucky and find which mold goes into which one, I don't think I will have much success. But let's have a look, see which way are you? You're close. There you go. See how that just popped in? So once I get at that stage, once I cool, I just go. And most of the time they fall out. Sometimes I've got to tap, 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 tap. And if they don't fall out, well, I just let them cool. I leave them this side up on the copper plate. The copper plate will pull the heat out of this. And the air will dry this side. And then when I come along with the tongs, most of the time I just pick it up and it's, it's there like that. 
so once it cools down it will shrink um, so that's it so that it's quite easy takes three minutes to melt all the pewter down get it ready scrape it off have it all ready you're all set up boom 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 sometimes they spill over when they spill over they end up nice and thin is this the same one no that come from the other one see it doesn't match in there so that one could be the other one that's in the shed still yeah, you do not match at all so you must be this one you must be this one yes see look at that bloop the only problem is when this is like you might think that's nice and perfect but as you can see it's not quite the back edge so when I get them to actually this is facing the wrong way but when they spill it's actually a godsend because you get them nice and thin that's a nice shiny one I'll be leaving that one nice and shiny well guys if you made it this far thanks a lot that's my insight so far into the pewter thing and the pewter doing this pewter is getting setting myself up to do the precious metals in the future it's when i start doing the gold and the silver and by fuck yeah i've got a two ounce uh gold bar there i'll melt the sucker down and make something like this out of it all right but the good thing about pewter it's easy to work with easy to clean up it's low melting point it takes a while to cool so you get time to work with it uh, if you spill it it peels off everything okay um, the other thing I've learned that anything that has a melting point that's higher than pewter can be used as a mold wood high temperature silicon uh, seashells um, <laughs> whatever right as long as the melting point of that item is higher than pewter you can use it as a mold so on that note guys i just want to thank you all very much for putting up with that and um may the good lord look after and bless you all <laughs>